Thank you, Mr. Ch Mr. Speaker. Ladies and gentlemen of the House, it's my distinct pleasure and honor today to stand before you to recognize someone um, that I believe everybody in this House uh, has admired and respected, uh, and that is Tom McCall. Um, I think everybody who ever knew Tom in this body, and, and he didn't pass away, so you don't have to stand. I don't think he would like that. <laughs> but Tom would appreciate that gesture, I'm sure. Um, by the way, I think we all know that Tom will absolutely, positively hate the fact that I'm doing this. He is going to hate the fact that I've got a privilege resolution that will be approved today in his honor. But I think that I have never known a man more humble who had no reason in the world to be humble whatsoever. He is one of the most capable and intelligent and dedicated people I know. And he has made, I don't know anyone who is more dedicated to remembering in this body the people that we represent back home and making sure in everything we do and every, every piece of legislation we pass that we always would ask how it affects them in their everyday lives. And Tom did that through a relentless scrutiny of every proposed legislation with his uncompromising common sense. I am told, although I was not have the pleasure of serving with him, that if you stood in this well and he stood to ask you a question and began it with the words, you mean to tell me that, you didn't feel real good about the chances of your legislation passing. So I, I, I appreciate uh, so much the opportunity to recognize Tom. I know we don't have a lot of time. I would just like to remember some of his famous, famous wisdom. Don't forget where you came from. Agriculture is on the front of the seal of the great state of Georgia, and the Senate is on the back side of the Capitol. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I yield the well. I don't know of a more decent or honorable person who ever served in this body Amen. than Tom McCall. And I still miss him. Chair 